go back to January 2020, the November and December before that, 2019, I just ran PBs in 5k, 10k and a half marathon and I was scheduled to go and try for a sub 3 marathon in April 2020 and then but aside from the marathon being cancelled training was just becoming I don't know I was training wrong I wasn't taking me easy days easy and I was lying to myself on my hard days by working out on an athletics track not using the inside lane and relying on GPS so the data that I was getting wasn't true and accurate everything was just becoming numbers on a watch I would have to put so much work in just to take I don't know 10 seconds off my 5k and it was like it was sort of like who cares so I mean at first your improvements are massive you can take minutes off and then it gets down to like I know what it seemed like to me where you get to like 18 minutes and the minutes become seconds and then because I wasn't taking the easy days as easy as I should every day felt like a hard day so that led to why I stopped training I'm sure there's probably a technical term for it where you can literally your body can burn out and it can make you feel a certain way mentally and to me it just made me not bother and not what I bother so from March 2020 to November 2020 I stopped training completely over ate massively and went from 196 pound which is 14 stone to 252 pound which is 18 stone and then on November 7th I weighed myself I ate 18 stone I wanted to start again because I knew where I went wrong in the past the mistakes I've made in my training and not wearing a heart rate strap not monitoring my heart rate, I want to do it all proper stay off the track and do some hills not massive hills but do some honest training not just look for a downhill route or easy elevation like if it's hard, it's going to be hard and I'll just, training on that route will make that hard my easy on the 7th of November I went out and did a 5k I couldn't break 30 minutes I did it in 30 minutes 6 seconds or 9 seconds and I was absolutely blowing oh my gosh my heartbeat was like um, <coughs> 170 beats per minute it's never that I did 5 kilometers, 30 minutes six seconds and I am absolutely dead I couldn't have give it anymore ah, here we go the road starts here I wore a heart rate strap my heart rate was 170 or something the rest of November I just ran easy easy miles aiming to run 5k a day and doing it between 32 minutes and 34 minutes at a time no speed work just losing weight and my coach got back in touch with me he formulated a plan and from there it was easy miles through November my first my first speed session was six by two minutes and it was on a flat surface and I think I averaged four 10 kilometer pace for the two minutes and that was going hard and it hurt I was glad when the two minutes ended there was no way I could run any longer and I remember saying to my coach like 
we'll look back on this um you know we'll see we've come a long way total 11.55 kilometers uh, average 410 kilometer pace um, uh, oh, the heavens opened up the last 20 minutes but since that first speed session in December it's been pivotal having Samet head start coaching coach me the workouts have been specific to me and progressed and it's been a blend of easy running and good structured workouts two speed sessions a week now I run seven days a week so I didn't used to when I first started it was like three days a week in November it's slowly been upped and my mileage has progressed slightly to I'm running almost 45 miles a week now on my highest miles from November to December my 5k went from 30 minutes to just under 23 and then from December to the end of January it went from just under 23 to 1928 and then from 1928 at the end of January to 1845 on the 25th of February and then I put in a good solid block on the mid Cheshire 5k in 1817 and now we're back down to that place where we stopped taking minutes off and we're taking seconds off but I'm also not an average runner type person I weigh 14.3 stone so I'm 200 pound in weight maybe if I lost a bit of weight I'd get quicker but I know I don't need to do that because I've run a one hour 21 minute half marathon heavier than this I weighed 14 and a half stone same with me 37 minute 10k I was only 18 seconds of making it into the 36 minutes and that was at that weight I know I can get better and I know I can get faster So that's my run finished. It ended up 9.6 kilometers. Uh, 50 minutes, average pace 512 kilometer pace. But the distance and pace really not important, just the time and my heart rate, average heart rate 135. So yeah, that's that's today's working out finished. It was just a nice easy 50 minutes. My mileage is slowly up in now and my time trial is basically in two weeks the 10k time trial tomorrow's workout is going to be a belter of one i'm going to film it and then it'll be on youtube on saturday it's eight times three minutes with one and a half minute float recovery and the, re the eight times three minutes is at 350 between 350 and four minute kilometer pace and the recoveries are at 428 to 444 kilometer pace so i've been told to keep it disciplined because it's going to bite near the end and I'm probably thinking it will so that video will be up on Saturday anyway and until then I'll see you then